Hey guys, we're here at Disneyland today and I'm going to show you all of the restaurants that offer breakfast food. So I think there's about 13 of them and they do kind of have a variety of what you can get, but it is all kind of breakfast food. So we'll see what's going on. All right, so headed down Main Street, on the right-hand side over here is what you have, the Market House. It's kind of like a Starbucks, and basically is a Starbucks. They have breakfast sandwiches, you know, fruit, danishes, parfaits, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, that's pretty good if you want, you know, just a quick, well, it's not gonna be quick, but you know, a quick little, quick little grab and go. And then over here to your left, going down Main Street, you have Carnation Cafe. They offer a sit-down type of breakfast. They have scrambles, pancakes, French toast, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's kind of hit and miss, but uh, that is a, definitely an option if you want to sit down. And over here at the end of Main Street on the right-hand side, we have the Plaza Inn. They offer a sit-down character dining experience. It's kind of a buffet style. I've never had it, but I hear it's pretty good. The Plaza in general is very, very good. On the left side of Main Street in the hub, we have Jolly Holiday Cafe and Bakery. It's a really good spot for breakfast. They have a really good croissant and egg sandwich. They have a bunch of pastries, danishes, coffee, and that kind of stuff. They do seasonal offerings from time to time. Actually, they do it a lot. And this is, uh, this is really good, probably one of our favorites. All right, we are here during Christmas time, and this is the castle. Uh, so if you head on over to the left of the castle, you're gonna go to a small little park called Maurice's Treats. This is more of a, a, a grab-and-go type of thing, just a little cart. This is the home of the garlic pretzel um, knot bun that they have that is fantastic. In fact, that's what we're gonna get today. They also offer uh, cinnamon rolls and different types of danishes and stuff like that. So Maurice's Treats, excellent, excellent for a, uh, a quick, Grab and go that is very, very good. This right here is the garlic cheese pretzel from Maurice's Treats. This thing, if you haven't tried it, absolutely get it. It is fantastic. They have it's at Edelweiss Snacks over by uh, Matterhorn as well. These are hard five out of five. Hell of good. We have Ship to Shore Marketplace here at the entrance to the uh, Mark Twain. This is a place to get a breakfast chimichanga. They are pretty darn good and uh, they do fill you up. So, ship to shore marketplace, home of the breakfast chimichanga. So behind me here, we have Riverbell Terrace at the uh, entrance of uh, Rivers of America over by Pirates. They offer a brunch. We have tried it before and it was really good. So if you are in the mood, you know, late for breakfast, but don't quite want lunch, the, uh, the brunch is a really good option here at River Bell, River Bell Terrace. At the top of Pirates of the Caribbean, you have Royal Street Veranda. This is a place you can come to get coffee and they do have some sort of fritters um, that you can, you know, sweets that you can have for, for breakfast if, if you'd like. Now winding through the back alleys here at New Orleans Square, uh, you will come up to the backside of Tiana's Palace, and there is the Mint Julep Bar, which I'll show you. A little, a little crowded up here right now, but this is a place if you want a, a beignet for breakfast, this is where you're gonna have to come. It is right over here. All right, we are in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, Batu. Black Spire Outpost, and the only place to get breakfast in here is Ronto Roasters. It is really good. This is something we usually get once a trip. And it is like eggs and uh, sausage thing. But yeah, this place is good, but it is the only one in Star Wars land that has breakfast. Yeah, All right, and getting into Fantasyland, the backside over here, we have Red Rose Tavern. It's a pretty good place to eat. It's a sit down, but it is a, a quick serve. They offer pancakes, a sort of a breakfast bowl, a breakfast platter, and a pretty good looking breakfast sandwich. So there you go, Red Rose, very good place to, to eat some breakfast.
in Toontown. If you're here in the morning, there is one spot to get breakfast style food. They have mini donuts over here at Cafe Daisy. I've never had them. We never really get to this part of the park in the morning. So if you have tried them, let me know what you think. See if they're any good and what's your take on these things. All right, we are at the last spot for breakfast in Disneyland. This is the Galactic Grill in Tomorrowland. They have a couple of things. They have a chicken tenders and, and funnel cake, kind of like chicken and waffles, I guess it's supposed to be. Um, they also have a breakfast burrito, a breakfast bagel sandwich, but it sounds pretty good. And then for the vegetarian options, they have a vegetarian breakfast wrap. It actually sounds pretty good as well. Breakfast here in Disneyland is, yeah, meh. They do have about 13 different spots you can get, and it changes constantly, the menus, and they're always trying new things, but breakfast is breakfast. You get a little creative, or you just go for the standards. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully you can find something to eat for breakfast here at Disneyland.